what do you hear? What do you say? My Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, Google Plus, your sister's ass, the Pony Express. A very ticked off Vic here. You know what ticks me off? People who think they set the rules. Now, follow me and I'll explain. There are some people who, for some reason, ego, stupidity, I don't know. But they think that what they think is the only way is the right way and anything else is wrong. Like, they think their opinion is fact. I'll give you an example. Recently, I did a Yankee locker room vignette where I pretended to have a temporary case of Tourette's syndrome brought about by a game-winning home run by the Astros. Like, this is grade A comedy farce. 99.99% of the people who saw the video laughed. It's not making fun of Tourette's. It's using something, in this case, Tourette's as part of a funny premise for a video. But no, a few big mouths had to tell me that you can't use Tourette's in a skit because it's making fun of, of people who have Tourette's. No, it isn't. If I pretend to be a blind man, am I making fun of blind people? No. I'm using blindness as a premise for humor. The humor is what makes something funny. You see, the problem with people like this is that they think the way they live is the only way everyone should live. This one says you can't say that. That one says you can't do this. Shut the fuck Fuck up! I did a vignette of the elephant man on a treadmill. On a treadmill! I didn't do a skit of the elephant man choking or something bad. I did a skit of the elephant man walking on a treadmill. And a few people complained. There are people who have that disease. And you can't make fun of them. There are people who have everything. Where does it stop, you fucking dirt neck jerk offs? Do I sit in a dark room and hum because that's the only thing that won't offend you? Amish people aren't allowed to wear colorful clothes. So does that mean none of us can wear colorful clothes now because the Amish guy said it's wrong? Southern Baptists aren't allowed to dance. So does that mean all of us can't dance now because the Southern Baptist lady said it's wrong? Fuck that noise! How about you don't wear colorful shirts or dance? How about you set your rules for you? You know in the movie Something About Mary, one of the characters pretends to have polio. In A Fish Called Wanda, a character pretends to have a stutter. Amy Poehler pretends to have Tourette's induced Bigelow in Shallow Hal. Characters were made up to look obese. Did you write to those directors and writers of those movies to complain? No. But you have no problem opening up your big fucking mouth to me. There's a million movies and TV shows since the beginning of time who take creative license. It's called creative license. Don't take my license away. Actors pretend to be lots of things and do have lots of issues. And that's what I'm doing. I'm acting. My vignettes are little scenes that could be in a movie or a television show. Are these few people so fucking stupid that they don't understand that just because I'm not on TV or in a movie, what I'm doing isn't considered a form of fiction or visual art? Why don't you tongue punch my fart box? Once I put on an Indian headdress to become a character in a skit, and of course, I got some emails and texts and private messages like, oh, how can you make fun of the Native Americans like that? Oh, you mean the way Mel Brooks dressed up like an Indian in blazing saddles? Fuck you, Sosa. When I do that guy, how come no one complains that I'm making fun of the elderly or making fun of people that have limps? When I do Tony Gaga... How come no one complains I'm making fun of Italians? Do you realize I'm a... Oh, 
How shall I say it? I'm a comedian! I do what I do and have a fan base, and whoever likes it, watches. And whoever doesn't like it can go watch something else. You can either get over it or get lost. I'm not forcing people to watch me, so don't force me to do what you want. Listen up, you people who think I'm going to change and do what you want me to do. I'm not. The more you tell a comedian not to do or say something, the more he's going to do it. I'm going to do what I want to do. I'm going to perform how I want to perform about the things I want to do. You know what happened when the doors went on Ed Sullivan and were told not to say the word higher in the song Light My Fire? They said the word higher. Fuck Ed Sullivan. It's their song and their words and their music and how they did it is what made the song a hit. Change the words to the song? Well, fuck you two. Everyone needs to stay in their own lane and stop being so damn sensitive. The world doesn't revolve around you. You do what you do and stop trying to force everyone else to do what you do. I'm going to put on a fucking colorful shirt now and dance around now. You don't like it? Go soak your head, fucko. People who think they set the rules, that's what ticks me off.